Hello and what's up madlang people? New parcel. Um, let's open it guys. Ah, here it is. Um, I've been meaning to buy or test this Earthwood um, acoustic guitar strings by Ernie Ball. And this one that I got is extra light. And the gauge is 10 to 50. Um, so it's my first time to try an Ernie Ball uh, strings for acoustic guitar. Uh, I've been using Ernie Ball when I was in the Philippines. Um, the Slinky, uh, super Slinky. Um, but on acoustic guitar, I haven't tried it. And my friend Louis from New York um, tried it and he was satisfied. So let's see. Let's open this and let's put it on my acoustic guitar and hear the sound of this one. Okay, let's open this one guys. There we are. And that's one, 50, 40, 28, 20. Oops, didn't know about this one. What is this? Introducing element shield 14 and 10. And it says at the back corrosion resistant. So, and by the way, guys, the current string on my Fender DG 60CE is also a Fender uh, Phosphor bronze uh gauge 10 so it's about the same because this is gauge 10 and uh the string's been there for six months and it's still uh sounding good but my fingers is um struggling even though this is the same gauge gauge 10 but i think this is softer okay guys so we're gonna remove the strings Actually, I got my Diadario um, string winder with cutter and this one to to remove the peg or something. I don't know how you call that one, but this can remove it. So it's a it's a complete set. I'm trying to loosen the string so that when you cut it, it won't So yeah, this one is getting it like that Okay, let's put this on So this is how it looks like Looks really nice.
So guys, this is plugged into my Focusrite iTrack Pocket. iPhone So um, here's our verdict guys, um, I really tried hard to uh, put this video as natural or as transparent as I can. So I'm using my Fender DG60CE and it's an electroacoustic but um, I mentioned earlier that I plugged in but I meant that uh, I used this Focusrite iTrack Pocket. This was plugged in to my phone, but the recording was from the stereo microphone of the Focusrite iTrack Pocket. So right and left microphone. Okay. Um, so, verdict. Um, I think it sounded and feel really professional. Um, it's so soft um, 
on the sound that's coming out even though it's not yet plugged in uh, the pickup is not being used it was just from this one and there's a little bit of reverb uh, with this one on the app but it sounded really really good um, I tried it as well on the iPhone camera and microphone as well as I jammed with this guitar I just didn't record it um, it's just um, if I play a cover uh, I always get uh, not a strike but it always gets uh, copyright um, so I just listen to it as, as if I'm playing an accompaniment to a song which is uh, requiring an acoustic guitar and yeah it sounded really good um, I'm very very satisfied with that uh, strings um, it's almost the same as the Adario. There's a different uh, characteristic and texture, but I think the sound, um, you know, the loudness of the strings and the feel is almost the same. It's soft. The Adario got soft uh, tension. So, yeah, I think it's about the same unlike the fender strings that i had uh, on here it sounded and feel sharp and then it's um a bit um i don't know how to explain it painful to my fingers this one is quite okay um this is just an initial review of the string uh, I would know this one when I'm doing gigs or rehearsal or jam. That's the test. And then I would say that um, it didn't affect my fingers that much. So yeah, that's it for tonight, guys. And uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, please subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell. And more videos to come, guys. So, ciao for now. Good night. Bye.